Welcome aboard to the 2020 Summer Virtual Learning Academy. Space Ranger McCullough here reporting for duty, bringing you out of this world learning opportunities through the NASA Summer Institute. Over the next two weeks, we'll blast off into learning about Earth and space science as well as defy gravity with rocket engineering. So buckle up and welcome aboard. This mission is ready for launch. Hi, Space Cadets. Space Ranger McCullough here reporting from Base Lab. Have you ever wondered where clouds come from? Well, it's quite simple. Clouds come from condensation or freezing of water vapor. You wanna check it out? Today, we are going to make a cloud in a bottle. Let's go. Materials for this lab include the jar, its lid, a match, ice, warm water, and a utensil for stirring. Before the lab begins, fill your jar with two inches of warm water and stir with your utensil. For step one, grab an adult to light your match and extinguish. Place the match into the jar and then cover the jar with your lid filled with ice. From here, you can observe the cloud forming inside of the jar. The warm liquid water forms water vapor. This process of changing liquid water to gas is called evaporation. As the water vapor rises and nears the ice-filled tray, the vapor cools. The smoke particles provide a surface for the water to condense. Did you realize that the evaporation is the opposite of condensation? If you remove the metal tray, the cloud will disappear as it mixes with the warmer surrounding air. The same events occur in our environment. Evaporated water condenses to form clouds, which may later produce rain. The production of rain is referred to as precipitation. Together, evaporation, condensation, and precipitation play an important role in the water cycle. And before you go, don't forget our key terms, condensation, vapor, and evaporation, as well as an extension task. Good work, Space Cadets, and see you next week.